fret. When you start with this one, you can use a second finger or third finger. Sometimes I quite like to use a third one because it's in the central, yeah? Second also doesn't matter. I use third. Then I use five, three, one. Yeah? Here, a lot of choice. You can use a... Or whatever you feel comfortable, okay? So oh, you got a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay? So you got a C minor. C minor, then G major, five fingers, C minor. Then five fingers scale down in G, yeah? So uh, not F sharp. It's a C minor. C minor. Exactly the same. Or oh, tap higher. So end on a C minor. F minor. Then B flat. Yeah? Then B flat. B flat. G minor. Okay, I do that section again. Then just the same or tap higher. Then come go down. Do again. Same thing. Then do the arpeggio. So, so it's C minor. From here, left hand first. F minor. B flat. E flat. Then you go into the second se uh, third section, which is a uh, alternate between right and left. Then dominant seven. Yeah. Then back to G minor. The, so the whole thing now, instead of doing on C minor, you're going to do on a G minor. So you got a B flat here. Exactly the same. Yeah. It's a G minor go to F sharp. B flat, don't forget. And then you go to G minor. Then G major. C minor crossing hand. So C7. Major 7. And C minor a major. C7. Back to um, F chord, yeah? So uh, F. That dominant dominating the F chord. Um, C, yeah? but you got an F flat. Yeah. Now E natural with a B flat. Then back to F minor. So the first one C minor. Then second one you got a G minor. Yeah. Now we're going to the F, so the three tra uh, transaction. So the whole thing's now, uh, you're going to go to F, yeah? So A flat, yeah, F minor. So C minor, G minor, F minor, just the same, yeah? So, got two flat again, yeah? Do again or tap higher. Then uh, you go to up again. Yeah. Come down. Now F minor. It's like a what you call a first inversion. Yeah, reposition. Then or tap lower. Yeah. So it's it's an F minor run. Yeah. Then you got a D flat. Don't forget to hold the two counts. One, two. Next one, three, four. One, two. Two counts. Three, four. One, two. Then three, four. One, two, three, four. So you got a yeah two. Next one, third beat. Then do the trio. Oh, sorry. Oh. Whatever 
other way can do. Then you got to go back again with the cross hands again, like what you did before. But this is in the C minor, C seven, C major seven, C seven, then F seven, then F flat, yeah, F flat seven, yeah, E flat seven, so D. Then this is a diminished chord. Sharp stretching down. Now C minor again. C minor run all the way down. Then G7. G7 always go back to C or C minor. So you got a C arpeggio, yeah? Second inversion. Then reposition G7. So I, I won't stop now, yeah? Quite tricky, you got to turn to 5. C5 five again. Back to E flat. Finish. The whole thing is based on this theme. And then finish here, and then. So they do in a C minor, G minor, yeah. So G minor. F minor and so on. Yeah, so in three different keys, but it's the same idea. So if you can memorize the C minor, then memorize the G minor pattern, then memorize the F minor, and those crossing hands again, uh, quite tricky. Yeah, those those part are the one the difficult part. Yeah. So those section also you have to learn. I think um, that's it. Those are the main thing.